Hey, how you guys doing? Welcome back to another episode of Souls Talk the Podcast. I'm your host, Staff Sergeant McPherson, and on this show, we discuss military topics with current and prior service members. Okay, you guys, so today we're going to be going over the last section of the CSDP inspection, which is the flipples. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned to this video. Okay, you guys, so uh, welcome to Podtober Day 29. It's Podtober Day 29, you guys. Uh, make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel. And if you haven't already, I mean, and if you have any suggestions for future episodes, you guys can email me at this email down here right there. So uh, we're going to talk about flippers today, you guys. So flipples, right? This is the last section of the CSDP inspection. Uh, so it says our statement of charges and cash collection vouchers prepared within five days of active army. So within five days, you guys should be uh, preparing a statement of charges or whatever, whatever discrepancy you have. Uh, next question says our financial liability investigation for property loss initiated within 15 days after discovery of the discrepancy. Okay, so within 15 days, the flipper should be initiated, you guys. Uh, and of course, uh, once you prepare it, once you prepare that statement of charges and the soldiers say they refuse to sign, or if, if the whatever it is is over the soldier's base pay, then you go ahead and initiate the flipper, you guys. So is DD form the next question says, is DD. 200 or AR 15 that says invest investigation initiated when negligence or misconduct is suspected and liability is not admitted. So like I was saying, when liability is not admitted, that's when they, uh, don't admit to liability by not signing the statement of charges or, and then you will do the commander's inquiry. So the commander's inquiry is basically them appointing a soldier uh, officer in the unit that just basically just ask questions and inquire about what's going on. And then uh, you upload that commander's inquiry inquiry to the, uh, as the flipper, uh, into the flipper as an exhibit, and then you'll push it up. So then that's when they make the decision on whether they're going to do a 15-6 or uh, a flipper. So it says if a financial liability investigation or property laws does not meet the time frame that's the person responsible for the delay prepare a letter of lateness so if you don't meet the whoever don't meet the time frame far as a flipper you guys it's time frames on it, it at every level it's a certain amount of days that it has to sit at that gate so if it don't sit at that if it is if it sit at that gate more than it's supposed to that person is supposed to prepare a letter of lateness and upload it as an exhibit in the flipper so has the unit completed block one and blocks three through eleven of dd 200 prior to submitting to the appointing authority so the unit gotta make sure they completing blocks one and blocks three through eleven usually just it's probably admin type stuff or the commander has to sign and stuff like that before they uh uh, route it to the appointing authority. And you guys, I do another video on, uh, who's the appointing authority for, uh, different flippers. So, uh, it's in 735-5. I think it's also a little bit in 710-4. I'm not sure, but, uh, I do a video on, uh, who's the appointing authority for how much, depending on how much the flip oil is, uh, the value of the flip. So the next question asks, when the DD 200 is prepared, is DA form 7531 attached? 
So of course, yes, when it's prepared, you guys, the 7531 should automatically be attached in eFlipper. You just go in, download it, and you should have the 7531. Um, are certificates and exhibits properly marked? So eFlipper marks exhibits. Uh, you just go in there and uh, chose what exhibit it is, and it's a market for you. But sometimes uh, you can go, you can use Adobe sometimes and mark them yourself. Uh, get with your battalion S4 if they actually want to mark. So next question says, is a copy of every completed flipper with all exhibits maintained in a separate file at the initiating unit level? So whenever the flip flipper is closed out, you guys, depending on what, who initiated it. So if the supply sergeant initiated every, every flipper you do as a supply sergeant, make sure when it's closed out, you get a copy of it and you file it. The last question you guys is do all personnel assigned to maintain Flipples have access to the installation platform eFlip. So the eFlipple SARS, you guys, you want to also make sure you're filing those for whoever has access to eFlip. Uh, and that's pretty much all the questions. That's pretty much all the questions, you guys. If you got any questions, ask me in the comments. You got confused about anything. Uh yeah, and that's all I got, you guys. This has been another episode of Soldiers Talk, the podcast, and I'll see you guys in formation.